My name's Sean Mulhall. I'm the manager for trade and business development at Fremantle Ports, and I'm joined today by Steve Neitz. Steve's the state manager for the CMA CGM Group, a very important shipping line that helps service Fremantle Ports. Steve, welcome to the Port of Fremantle. Thanks for having us today, Sean. Anyone who's been in an industry for, for a long time, Steve, has a few stories. And I was curious if you had any interesting stories about cargo or unusual cargo that you might have transported over those years. Probably the highlight, Sean, is a giraffe. A giraffe? Uh, yeah, moving between zoos. Uh, we don't often carry live animals, but this one was a unique experience and uh, uh, certainly a wonderful one. And the, and the, and the animal travelled very well. Yeah, yeah. How did they load it? Down? It must have been in an open air container. Yeah, Sean, it was in an open air container, an open top. So yeah. we were certainly, as we call it in the industry, out of gauge, very much out of gauge. Yeah. Yeah. At the other end of the spectrum, uh, we carried some luxurious goods like yachts and boats. So there's certainly a, a weird and wonderful mix of cargo that moves. Now, a lot of people assume that uh, ships are only used to transport goods to and from Australia but there's an important coastal trade which connects the states of Australia and allows our goods to be transported anywhere around the Australian coast. Your group has a really strong affiliation with coastal trade. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Whilst we've expanded into many international trade lanes, the coastal trade is fundamental to our business. We carry a range of product supporting the food and beverage industries, the building industries, medical and so on. In fact, uh, many people watching this video, I'm sure would have uh, had goods that have come in through the coastal trades. Does coastal trade have a role to play in reducing the impact of greenhouse gases? Coastal shipping and shipping in general is a green option for the transportation of goods. It's certainly much more environmentally friendly than road and rail and I think it'll only grow in that aspect. Globally and on, on the big international trades, the vessels are pushing over 20,000 TEU container capacity, which is huge, into Australia and, and Fremantle. Uh, we've currently got vessels in the vicinity of 9,500 TEU container capacity, so they're certainly growing and, and getting big. Yeah. Do you know what the, some of the drivers are behind the, the vessels getting bigger? It was all born on, on demand. What does the EMA CGM group uh, like about calling it the Port of Fremantle? The port team are friendly and very customer focused and our vessels are turned around in a safe and an efficient manner. Also Fremantle itself is an excellent port to call. It's a short deviation away from traditional sailing routes and it's close to trading markets so it all bodes well for vessels to call into Fremantle. Thanks so much for taking the time to come down and see us today Steve. I've learnt a lot about the CMA CGM group and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you Sean, much appreciated.